Hello world, I'm Lukap. Welcome back to Call This Simulator Mirror of Glory. At this moment we are working at the Institute. We are feeding my imagination. Is this? This is just glimmerings. Right, and they will turn into a glimmering lesson learned and then we can probably increase our passion here. I hope so. We get a new acquaintance coming. We are not dreaming on anything. Why not? We have contentment here and dread here. Let's dream this dread away. And we are getting a hireling five knock. Hmm. Would that help us get anywhere? Let's see. Well, we could use knock at the Gware Inn, but we'd also need Edge Moth, the Grail, to deal with watches. So that doesn't really help us. So no, we're not going to get that dude. I also put the books here into order like these are books we're going to read. And these are books we're not going to read. These are books that will give us glimmering, so we might read them because of that, but uh, we don't really need to just then now. Okay, who did we get here? We got Slee! Slee, you're... What are you, Slee? Hey, Slee, are you? You might actually be Lantern. Getting our first Lantern guy, guy would be kind of nice. Let's take you into the cult. And we are, of course, a Lantern cult, and we're going for a Lantern victory. That is why this series is called Mirror, Mirror of the Glory. Finished our work at the Institute, and uh, I think we're gonna go back to our work at the Institute. Or should we just paint something? No, we don't really need to paint anything right now, so yeah, let's just go back to our work at the Institute. Some fleeting reminiscence for us. What's coming up next? A season of sickness. Hmm. Well, we got quite a lot of health, and we got. Uh, some money. Where's our funds? There's our funds. We got, yeah, we got some money. Slee. Yes, you are Lantern. Okay. Now, how much did it require to get you to be the second level? Hmm. Seventh intensity. Hmm. Well, I think we could do it with the Refulgion, but that would lose make us lose the refulging and I'd rather use this to painting a lantern painting because that will make it easier to improve our guys later on. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix the cracked noonstone now and see if that's enough to get us uh, get us to increase those guys. I mean getting even if we get only Slee to be better with that it will be still be worth it. And the Rhaenyra alright oh yeah you were trying to get this hireling for us uh, I don't know, just go see if you can find us uh, another hireling. Like, we were looking for someone with Lantern, I believe, because Cater and Hero only requires one thing, and that's Forge or Lantern. So basically, if we find Forge or Lantern guy as a hireling here, we can uh, just take that person and use them to get to there. Okay, so that's three Grimmins lessons learned we have here. So with our vivid imagination and these three Glimmering lessons learned, we are going to get uh, sooner murder an infant in its cradle than nurse unacted desires. Yeah, that sounds like something you should really do. What did you find? An overlooked place. Oh, that's just streets strange by moonlight. Come on, Rhaenyra. Find us a bomb maker. That would be very nice right now. What did you find? You find us a professional muscle. Hey! Huh. No, I was thinking that well, with the professional muscle we could go to wear in, but then we're gonna need forge or knock there. We don't have enough forge or knock, so that's not really a good thing. I mean, we could try, but I really don't think I want to get my dudes hurt right now. Does it matter? No, let's just try. Let's uh, take that professional muscle. Let's go to wear in. We'll send like four forge people there. And that will probably be enough. Oh no, sickness. Ah, uh, that's just gonna cost us some money. It's not a big deal. And you are going to need some funds to repair this uh, Noonstone. So here you go. And we get some more passion. And now we're gonna need, yeah, four lessons learned and something more. And since I don't remember what the something more that is required for these things is, I'm not actually going to do trying to even get these to be higher before I have uh, at least one of every type of lore. I should probably start putting my table in a better order here pretty soon, but uh, it's not uh, such a big deal. 
Now, there was something I really wanted to read. But no, 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 it's, it's something we find from either Cater or Strathcoins. What did Strathcoins require? They only got Watchers at Strathcoins. Oh, though, that's nice. We're getting the big guy here, so he'll be good enough to go to Strathcoins alone. Alright, well, let's just start reading these books. Let's read the Rose of One's Knife first. Oh, need to be translated from Greek. Well, let's not read that first. Let's read Ahaya Salt's Introduction to Histories first. The 17th century mystic and antiquarian Clauter Salt describes divergent incidents in five major histories. The prologue warns at length of the inequities of one Julian Cosley, a former colleague who her salt now describes darkly as a worm of worms. It seems Cosley advised her salt early in the writing of the book, but her salt later became suspicious. And we should probably dream about the woods here, since we can. Okay, you fix the Noonstone. So the Noonstone is a level 4 thing, so I think it means that we can upgrade uh, Slee. Right, Slee, Watchman's Secret, and the Noonstone. Yeah, okay, and I don't... I think we're gonna keep like this new stone isn't gonna go away. Sometimes the trappings go away, but I think the tools stay. So uh, let's uh, make uh, Slee into a disciple. We found a professional muscle, and we'll send him. Was it Strathcoins where I wanted to send him? Yes, Strathcoins. Professional muscle, take some money. The house of Mr. Strathcoin, a collector of rare objects. Strathcoin will not sell his treasures, but a sufficiently cunning accomplice might gain entry. Mr. Strathcoin has forbidden entry to his library. Unfortunate. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this sounds like there should be like just a, like a door or something that you could go there with knock, but at least my notes say that there are watchers there, so I uh, will uh, trust my notes now. Oh no! Exotic cravings. So that uh, means we're gonna get some, uh, what is it called? Restlessness. We got the restlessness over here. My curiosity is becoming a physical need. My eyes will be thresholds. It is almost time to perform the work and begin the changes, but I must have enough lantern aspect. Exploration might find more. Yes, 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 yes. And yeah, we'll probably try to paint that away pretty soon. Why are you there, Sexton Secret? You should be down here somewhere. Where's my lore? Oh, it's here now. Right, there's... Well, something, but first of all, we're in the woods. Let's go to the well. Get an awareness of outside, which we don't need for anything right now. So let's see. Yeah, there's only watchers here. This guy should be able to deal with those watchers. And Hersold identifies blood silver design and the worms as the central axis of each of the histories and claims that the so called second history is the true one. So that's an occult scrap that we can explore at some point. Let's then read the Rose of Nuriel. Oh, it needs to be translated from Greek, so let's not read it. Let's do the Kione at Abydos. Uh, a play dealing with the nine-year sojourn of a snow goddess in the Thracian city of Abydos by Apollo Fireweaver. It enjoyed success in London in its 1892 edition when it was republished from apparently an older Greek text. The entity called Chione arrives in a blizzard and demands the city gates are barred. As Abydos falls under her spell, the dead return but do not speak. Right, and we'll sleep this affliction away. We don't have any uh, vitality, so we're gonna have to use some money. But that's fine. Okay, and uh, yes, the Noonstone didn't go anywhere. He navigates, now you are the map. He illuminates, you were the darkness. He is not compassionate, you will not show compassion. Our compassion is knowledge, and our course is a glory. So Slee is now a level 5 Lantern Man. Slee's headaches have become cribbling, but his theories grow more practical by the day. His poetry is getting better, too. I don't think that's enough for us to get anyone else to be a disciple, though. We're gonna need... Uh, yeah, a higher level Watchman's Secret. Or Lantern Lore, it's not gonna be Watchman's Secret, it's just higher level Lantern Lore. So, since we can't do that, let's just uh, get more people in. 
Our strength is considerable. Yes, good stuff is happening here. We should be able to bring those guys down. Good, and yeah, let's paint away this restlessness. Where is our imagination? It's down here. And let's just use as much passion as we can. Holy crap, four slots. I thought there was four slots only for when it's the highest level, but uh, maybe not. Right, and the restlessness in here. Okay, did you manage to deal with the watchers? You did. Good. I think this time we're actually going to use some funds to buy some, buy some paints as well. Let's see if we're going to make any money on that. Uh, what is this? This is the cause of the hot. Okay, that's going to give vitality. Which we don't really need because we would have needed it for that. And that's already done. For eight years, the city is a place of slow death, frostly ecstasy, and silent beauty. But in the ninth year, a conspiracy of shouts is mounted against the quiet that Chione demands. The conspirators open the city gates, and a scarred man comes to drag Chione out, of, out by the hair. Summer returns, but the conspirators die of remorse. So that gives us a white ceremony, which I think actually we can use to get to the next door. Can we weigh all the wood with a white ceremony? Approaching the white door. There is a house in the wood and a door where the dead sometimes go. I have read the paths the dead take. Okay, so that was actually useful for us. Uh, can we read the burning of the unburned god? Yes, we can. Compiled by J. Wigglesworth Jensen from Oral Traditions in Rural Persia. Jensen hypothesizes a pre-Zoroastrian fire deity whose rites were the rites of smiths. Okay, you took passion there, so there's an acquaintance coming. And yeah, treasures here lie before us. That's of some vitality for us. And uh, do we make any money? I think we made two funds. We paid one, so yeah, we made one plus. Uh, we also got us a fascination here, which is kind of unfortunate. Are we getting a season of fascinations? No, we're getting that season of exotic cravings, which gives us restlessness, which will turn into a dread. So. We actually want to keep this fascination here, because then we can get rid of the dread and the fascination with, you know, at the same time. Right, so we'll just work at our actual job. You get nothing there, Mr. Detective, that is uh, expected. You give us the restlessness, which we'll hope that turns into... Well, we don't need to hope, it will turn into dread quite soon. Approaching the wide door. These are the bounds about the house, with their mists and their traces. This uh, the rock called the Temple of the Wheel, high as a church spire, patched with black lichen and daubed with eye signs. I round it, and there ahead of me is the white door, a globe like the moon in winter. So that gives us a way to the white door, which is where we're probably going to be dreaming from now on. I mean, do we need to... I mean, we might still want some occult scraps to get these places like are there any places like we already been to the congregation of uh, what was it saint felix we've been to the forgotten mithraeum there's saint agnes's hospital there's gator and hero limited and we're at strathcoin's residence right now so yeah this will just give us uh, the forsaken reach which is the redoable thing so no we don't really need any more occult scrap so there's no point for us to ever sleep on the way of the wood anymore let's put here now where did the way to the white door go? Over here. So let's head over there. In my dreams I know the path to the white door through the bounds, but that path is strong with the dead who pass that way. I wouldn't help to resist their chill. Now I can approach the white door through the bounds. Now I can press my fingers to it, feel it chill, watch it swing open. As it opens, my mouth closes, and tightens, heals over like a lost deformity. Around and about me is the cobalt light of the manses. And we read uh, the burning of the unburned god. Jensen ultimately concludes with apparent reluctance that the deity was a goddess. He suggests that its gender may have been the cause of its suppression. The rites described are often eerie, sometimes grisly. So we get the rite of the crucible soul, which I think is the rite that takes uh, the sacrifice of a person. I mean, we, we, we can check that out a little bit later. Okay, so let's read the six letters of necessity. 
Warnings and Confessions about the Cost of the Invisible Arts, addressed to a sto student by the 17th century Magus and reputed immortal Julian Cosley. Cosley's tone is urgent, as if he suspected he might have little time left. He found us a new person. Who did we find? Saliba! Saliba will just take you into the cult immediately with the Watchman's Secret. It would be nice if one of these books will... I mean, we're gonna find a book from Strathcoins over here. In Strathcoins Treasures. Out into the night. We escape unseen. But the next day there are reports of a fire at Strathcoins. Did someone knock, or knock a live coal on the hearthrug? Or did Strathcoin destroy the place himself as part of some larger scheme? Alright, we got the Wainscot Histories. We got the Journal of Alexandro Lacrosse. We got the Locksmith's Dreams, we got Traveling at Night, Volume 3, and we got the Treatise on Underplaces. And none of these are the thing I actually think. Well, then it's maybe from Cater and Hero Limited where we get it. The book that gives Lantern 6. Maybe it's one of these. I don't remember, like, directly. I just remember looking from my notes that one of these places is gonna give us a Lantern 6 lore. Right, so... Where in requires Forge or not? Should we just send these guys there? Like, we'll send the professional muscle when we sell the forge, guys, hoping that we can get through the thing. If we can't get through the thing, it's gonna be bad. So maybe not quite yet. We did our job at the Institute. And we should still probably, like, explore this occult scrap, at least. And I mean, maybe we could, like, what's at Lockfoot then? Nah, we can't get there either. Okay, Saliba, you are a believer and... Oh crap, I didn't know this, this thing was here. Huh. Right, Saliba, you are Grail. Yes, that I remember. So come down here. We'll get more people into the cult. And we don't have any contentment around here, so... Okay, well we don't want that restlessness, that's for sure, I think, uh, well, I think the Lodge is the better place to go for, now yeah, you can find some fascination from the Lodge, so it's not the better place, the Orchard is the better place, we can actually find some contentment from the Orchard, so let's go there, ooh, I forgot a Chronicle immediately, nice. Last night I walked in the Orchard of Lights, I plucked the fruit, which is always ripe, and consumed it in two bites. The taste is not to be forgotten. As I licked the glowing juices from my fingers, I saw a message card in the bark of the tree. When I woke, I recorded that message, all I could remember in my diary. Right, yep. So a forgotten chronicle for us to explore. And we read the Sixth Letters of Necessity, gets an erudition and a smith's secret. Right, uh, let's read the volume of Locksmith's Dreams. The second volume of Teresa Galmia's examination of perils in the mystic dreams of artisans, the frontispiece has been slashed with a razor. In this volume, Galmia records fever dreams and explicates more of her own elaborate theories. We see this again and again. What is below can escape what is above. Right. Hey, I actually speak Greek. I forgot that. So that one of these books was in Greek. It wasn't you, right? Yes. I mean, there's the symbol in the cover that shows that it's in Greek. This is in Greek as well. As is this. These are just uh, let us learn languages. So these are the ones we're gonna read next. Right, and we we'll shall dream on the. Where is my dreaming? There's the wood. Where's the white door? There's the white door. Because there's really no point in not the dreaming on the white door, like, constantly. Okay, what did we find? Yeah, the Forsaken Reach. Yes, just like I said. And I don't think there's anything at the Forsaken Reach we really want. We can get some paints from there, so if we really want to paint good paintings, we can go there and get some more paints. Okay, let's... With this Forgotten Chronicle, and let's keep working at the Institute. Coming next, some notoriety. Mmm, we have some notoriety here. Oh. Maybe we should 
change our headquarters to get rid of that notoriety so we don't accidentally get any evidence happening. Right, to the archer and intensity of radiance. Ah, this will become a fascination. That is on there's nothing we can use this on right now. The invisible arts, Christopher Ilopoli is said to have remarked, are as profitable as macrame, as ethical as tobacco smuggling, and in general as beneficial as roulette. Still, there is always the Orchard of Lights, and indeed, the Orchard, with its glowing fruit and its peaceful mist, is a place to be yearned for. Last night I walked there in the peaceful hours of the deep night. Even after waking, I still carried me the little of the glory of the old sun. Actually, I just realized there is a thing we can do with that. We can get our guys to be higher level. The finest artisans all dream of the white door in the end. I am no artisan, only a scholar. I think there's a secret that all these artisans know, but I think that secret is only half the story. So that's a locksmith's secret, which we already had one of those, I believe. But let's read the Queens of the Rivers. A surreal contemporary play by the enigmatic Monica Medina, in which the Queens of the Rivers are murdered one by one. The Queen of the Vistula is poisoned, the Queen of the Dnieper chokes on a fish hook, the Queen of the Tagus is burned alive. And we shall dream, 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 dream of the white door. And as soon as this is done, we can uh, improve one of our guys. What do you want to improve though is the question. Let's keep working. Oh crap, this thing came out, so it's gonna grab the other weird detective, and the detective's gonna grab the notoriety, and let's hope that he doesn't create uh, any evidence. Well, just in case he might create some evidence. Hey, Ibn Al Adam. Okay, so we have all the uh, patrons here. Now, yep, in case he's gonna create some evidence, we're gonna wanna upgrade Isabeth so that she can get rid of the evidence. We'll use the intensity of radiance, and we'll use a watchman's secret. And she will be promoted to a disciple. And through the door we go. We'll just take this first one, truth. Many of the dead enter the manses through the wide door. They wander its corridors in silence until they are lost. Some embrace each other, some devour each other, some force their way into the dreams of the living. A few record their memories on the manses stone where it is soft. They scratch it with their nails, you see. Last night, I read one of those memories. Okay, that's a fertile truth for us to explore. And we read the Queens of the Rivers. The culprit, it transpires, is the audience. The surviving queens are directed to execute whatever audience members do not escape. A surprisingly lucid epilogue suggests that the correspondence of river names with historical events does provide clues to secret histories behind our own. An occult scrap, which we don't need for anything, so we'll just keep it around. Right, and let's read the skeleton songs. Poems of greedy delight composed by the possibly pseudonymous Arabella Dusk, the rumored heiress turned madame turned poetess. In Arabella's introduction, she explains that the book was to be illustrated, but that the suppression bureau would not permit it. She hints that the illustration still exists somewhere. The book is dedicated to Sir Percival of the Red Cup. And we should be dreaming, 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 dreaming of, on the white door. An unusual vessel. Hebe is a ship. In fact, many ships have borne the name over the centuries. All of them have provided transport and accommodation to those who know something of the invisible world, and none of them show up in shipping records. But I've learned that the steamer Hebe Stanton is docking soon in a grimy and unregarded port in a northern island. I can send someone to purloin unwatched occult luggage. Hebe Stanton, I wonder if we need to go there, I'll just put it here, because I'm not sure about that. And we'll explore this fertile truth next. And we'll keep working at the Institute, as we always do. Hey! Contentment, that's gonna go there, that's nice. Elsa reminded me that, ooh, did you, no, you didn't make evidence. Nice! Yeah, we can talk to Slee about things and make him our lover. 
Promote a believer by invoking lantern. Yes, so Isabeth is now a level 5 moth person, so she can get rid of evidence for us sometimes. Slee! Let's talk to you about Moreland's shop. No? Alright, oh, no. I don't think that's for me. Well, they've died this club? I don't think that's for me. But what? Isn't Moreland's the place you'd. Huh. So, where do I go on to hit on uh, lantern people? I thought it would have been Moreland's for sure. I mean, it, it's not. What if I talk about my cult? No, you'll just do that, that thing, and that's really not useful very often. What about if I talk about my skill scholarship? That can't be put there. Evidence, location, maverick hunter, society, tool, ingredient, annoyance. Huh. Well, I'm still gonna put Morland in here and just see, because I'm, I'm still talking to him, so there's a minute waste. Even though this text doesn't change, I would think that that would be the place to go. I mean, because Oriflams, I don't think that's for me. Ectasis Club. I don't think... Oh, now I remember what it is! It's not Morlands, it's the uh, Street Strange by Moonlight. That's where we need to take Slee if we want to start dating him. Right. The 26 delightful fruits, the 7 chest my chastisons, the 9 gardens, the 4 regrets. A red secret for us there? Right, then let's read the humors of a gentleman. And I just realized I'm probably gonna have to read at least some of these books as well, because at some point, so I'm probably gonna need like level 6 lore of all types. And I want the lore of all types just so that I can increase my stats to the highest level, because I don't remember what stats they require to get to the highest level, but uh, I could probably check that somewhere. I probably don't have that in my notes though, so probably can't. The humors of a gentleman. Samuel Savage's satirical comedy on the intrigues of the ailing but cunning John Son, his mistress Mavelyn, her lover Leo, and the upstart Corvino. By the end of the first act, Mavelyn has revealed a secret drawer in the walls of the house to Leo, and Corvino has taken to consuming worms. And through the wide door once more, we'll head for the orchard, get another intensity of radiance, which means that we can get uh, the, 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 well, another person to a higher level in our cult. Let's go back to dreaming. Where's my health now? Here's some of my health. So here's more of my health. Let's put it here. Yep. Okay, finished our job. Let's do some more. What did we explore? We found Kraukis Hill. I'm not really sure if we want to go there or not. I need to check my notes a little bit more. And I think I'll do that between episodes, which is gonna happen like right now, because we're gonna end uh, this episode here. I'm a cop. Uh, this is being called the Simulator Mirror of Glory. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.